All right, here with Billy McVie, starting quarterback for the Queen Scales. So, Billy, tell us about uh, entering your second training camp and what it's like, and how it prepares you for the upcoming season. Yeah, well, training camp is really important, especially for a team like ours where we're so young. I mean, we have a lot of uh, potential, and there's a lot of opportunity for us to do well this year. But training camp is definitely important. I'm, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, tell us about uh, how it prepares you for the upcoming season. Well, it prepares us because you know there's a lot of uh, kinks that we need to work out as a team, especially. There's a lot of guys over the summer who've been training, doing a lot of individual work. Um, but we need to get together as a group, you know, as a team, practice, do the two a days, do the you know the team of functions together to uh, really get that chemistry going, and it'll it'll definitely help us down the road come playoff time when we'll really uh, be thanking ourselves for how hard we worked during training camp. All right, here with Justin Chapdelaine. So tell us about the position change to wide receiver and how you're preparing for that this season in training camp. Uh, position change over the summer worked really hard with my father and you know just trying to get my legs used to all that running because as a quarterback you know you don't you don't do that that much. But uh, here in training camp, I hope that I can uh, just show the coaches that I can be a big playmaker and that I uh, you know I can do things on the field that that'll make plays and uh, get touchdowns for this for the team. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it goes well. Um, I feel like it's gone well, so I'm pre I feel pretty confident about it. And uh, yeah, for sure. So, how important is training camp to the team for preparing for an upcoming season? Training camp is extremely important. It's it's not the, the best time as a physical standpoint because you get tired and all that, but it prepares you physically and mentally for for your upcoming game, our first coming game, September 5th against the McMaster Martyrs. And so, uh, you know, we haven't been doing a lot of football team, uh, team football functions or any kind of stuff like that over the summer and we get to all come together and start doing plays and, uh, you know, getting ready for, the, for this game and for the rest of the season. So, we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully it's a great training camp with no injuries and uh, just a little time. <laughs> what did he say? I don't think he said anything. I'll try. So I'm here with Dan Village. Uh, Dan, it's training camp time. This is your fifth one. Tell me what's going through your head right now. Uh, me personally, it's, it's kind of loose. Uh, last one, I just want to have fun. But for the other guys, they trained really hard. Uh, a lot of guys uh, want to get in positions. There's lots of competition, so it's kind of nice. But for me, I'm just here to have fun. I uh, want to go a long ways this year. Um, and the guys that we have in the younger years, I think they're going to take us there. So. And you were on the Vanier Cup team, obviously. So, you know, how's this team stack up to that team? Uh, well, the talent's there. The talent's there is just putting the pieces together. Um, I think a lot of guys are stronger, faster this year than the potential 09 team. It's just a matter of getting the, the execution, the reps down, and then going from there. But uh, a lot of talent. And maybe as a fifth year guy, you know, you're going to be the oldest guy in the room now, and, you know, it's a lot different now for you. Is there anything you're going to impart on, on, you know, the rookies? And uh, is there anything you're going to be, you know, maybe working with the kickers a little bit, knowing next year, yeah. you know, that you're not going to be here? Uh, yeah, you know, I'd love to come back and, and work with these guys, um, maybe in a coaching role. Uh, who knows if that opportunity is available. But for right now, it's, uh, you know, just putting the systems into place for the younger guys. Uh, uh, for the next coming years uh, and hopefully that they're successful uh, the special teams unit is successful and, uh, and that's what I'm looking forward to I mean, so this year is kind of different in the sense that you have other guys, younger guys uh, who will be taking over the position um, and then it's getting them ready for the next 5-10 years so it's kind of exciting in that way absolutely one more go So I'm here with one of our rookies, Colton Blue. Uh, Colton, talk about a little about uh, what you're feeling right now. You're about to go into your first training camp. Um, excited. It's uh, going to be a big change from high school. Lots of big expectations to live up to, but uh, I don't know. Getting ready for testing, and hopefully it goes well. And uh, talk a little bit why you chose Queens. Uh, just. I went out on a few trips and uh, came down to Queens and I 
I just really liked what I saw. It's a beautiful town. It's the campus is amazing, and just talking to Coach Sheen and all the support staff, it seems like a good place to be.